Hey everyone, this is Mwesko Amgwaposko, the Teacher Wisdom Center. That's the Karumuna in uh, Yes, as usual, I'm your science teacher, and this time I'm again back that we go through, uh, yes, our usual activities. So uh, last time we looked at uh, uh, looking at blood circulation, and uh, we went again looking at uh, the major three, yes, organs of the system of blood circulation where we saw uh, the, the heart, the, the blood vessels, and the blood. Yes, so we went ahead looking at uh, the heart properly. So this time, uh, yes, we are going to go ahead looking at uh, the blood vessels, which yeah, we look at uh, types of blood vessels, and uh, yes, how they function, their differences. And then uh, this will give us a, a clear move on. So let us check, but before we start, remember, for end time we need us, yes, uh, we always give you, uh, you always check us on our contacts. You can easily get us quickly. You'll have help. So no worry when you need any help. Yes. So uh, today's topic specifically, we are looking at blood vessels. Let us start looking at this specifically. Yes. Uh, remember, blood vessels, they are actually, yeah, yes, uh, we have to get back to the, uh, to the three organs of the system of the blood circulation, okay? We say that uh, this contains th three major organs, the blood vessels, the heart, and the blood. So for this time, we want to specifically check ourselves, okay? Yes, uh, looking at clear understanding of blood vessels. So simply, yes, uh, blood vessels, uh, they are tubes that transport blood, blood in the body, as far as that, okay? So when you ask to define what are blood vessels, yeah, these are muscular organs or, mu or mus muscular tubes that transport blood in the body. Why do we call them muscular? They are made of muscles, okay? Yes. And then uh, their major work is transport blood around the body. So they are tubes, just like you see the water tubes, okay? Transporting water, carrying water from different, from the source to the homes or different places. So this is also how the tubes work. These blood vessels just work like uh, these tubes for water, okay? Water pipes. So they are within the whole body. We have very many blood vessels. And these blood vessels, majorly, yes, we, we say that they run from the heart to all other body parts. That is transporting blood at uh, different uh, materials in the body. Talk of hormones, talk of uh, uh, water, yes, for nutrients. These materials are all transported or carried by blood vessels. So these blood vessels are very important in our body. So uh, we have types of blood vessels, and basically there are three, okay? So these ones we have, uh, we have arteries, yes, we have veins, and capillaries. As we move on, we shall find that, uh, also that uh, the arteries are the largest blood vessels in the body. And then veins for them, they are medium. Then the capillaries are the smallest blood vessels in the body. So this is very common, just as you. What are the three blood vessels? We said we have arteries, yes, have veins, and capillaries. Remember, arteries are the largest blood vessels, veins are medium, okay, and then the capillaries are the smallest, the tiny blood vessels. Uh, yes, so uh, let us move on and check a look at one by one. So looking at uh, arteries, simply, okay, Arteries are mainly, we say mainly blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. Yes, if you check on arteries, majorly, yes, their work is to carry majorly blood away from the heart, okay? Uh, except the coronary artery that supplies the heart with blood. But other blood vessels took over the other, other arteries, took over the primary artery, took over the iota, they carry blood away from the heart. Yes, uh, simply, this is a very uh, actually clear indication or indicator of the arteries. So majorly, when you look at arteries, you need to look at their features or characteristics. Uh, looking at arteries, arteries have thick walls, okay? Compared to veins that have good thin walls. Their walls are thick. Uh, that's why uh, they are actually they are used to transport blood under high pressure. They can ask you, why are arteries why do arteries have thick holes? You can say because they transport blood under high pressure and through longer distances, okay? So you can also say because they transport blood through long distances and under high pressure. 
That's why they have the thick walls. Okay. So when you go check on uh, next year, okay, those thick walls help them uh, to actually to resist or sustain the high pressure of blood. Okay. So uh, we can check the next point. So that this one actually they have narrow blood passage or lumen. The lumen is narrow, smaller compared, okay, uh, to the to the veins that have got a wide lumen. For them, have got narrow lumen. These are the arteries. Then they do not have valves. Uh, these valves may prevent the back flow of blood. Okay, that's within a. Uh, if you check, compare with the val with the with the veins. Veins have got valves. This is blood which has no oxygen. Really they can't flow back or just to flow one direction. Then uh, with the arteries, for them, they have no valves. Uh, then still, uh, blood in the arteries flow at high pressure. Yes, that's why their walls are thick to resist this high pressure. Okay, uh, so we can simply look at this. Uh, we are saying all are not here. All arteries carry oxygenated blood, except pulmonary artery, meaning they carry blood with oxygen. Apart from pulmonary artery, which carry blood without oxygen. Okay. Yes, this carries blood to the lungs, from the heart to the lungs, which is due oxygenated, blood without oxygen. And then, yes, so uh, this, we can look at a structure of the artery, and this to, to look at a clear understanding of the artery properly. Because we are saying that these arteries have got uh, thick walls, but have now remain. So looking at uh, the artery here, okay, simply, yes, you can say structure of the artery, okay? The structure, structure of an artery. Okay. So, uh, if we want to simply have a way of looking at these arteries, we said they have got a narrow, okay, rumen and thick walls, okay. So if you look at the lumen, this will be the lumen, this is this. The center, the part in the middle, okay? This simply smaller, the lumen, compared, what, to, compared to, the, to, to veins. So if you, then the walls, have got, they have got thick walls, okay? So this can be just a, like an example of an artery. So blood flows, so we can, if you look at, show this. Yes, showing how blood flows within an artery. Oh. So remember, arteries have no veins, have, have no valves. So blood can easily move, yes, to and fro. Let us check this. Yes. Uh, majorly, well, can move. So in this case, moving in one direction, blood flows, OK? Uh, and uh, for this, we are saying that uh, this inner part is the lumen. So, their lumens, actually, they are, compared to, to the one, they are narrow. So we can say narrow lumen, narrow lumen. Uh, checking, yes, checking on the walls. These are the walls, okay? Arteries have got thick walls, thick walls. Yeah, so this simply can be a structure showing us an artery. So when they ask the difference, simply talk of the, the, the lumen, the lumen can say they have got narrow lumen, smaller, okay? And again, they have got thick walls. When you compare to the veins, you're going to find that it's the different, it's, it's the opposite if you compare to the artery, to the veins. So we can uh, move uh, straight to the veins. Uh, Yes, for veins, we are saying that veins are still blood vessels that carry blood towards the heart, okay? Arteries carry blood away from the heart, but for veins specifically, they carry blood towards the heart. Yes, so looking at this, we can see that uh, the main vein in the body is, vena, is a vena cover, which receives blood coming from other parts of the body, okay, and back to the heart. Comparing to the, heart, to, the, to the arteries, the main artery will be the iota. So that can also be a difference or a feature looking at arteries and veins. So uh, veins simply have the following features or characteristics. 
for veins, they have got a, a wide or wider lumen, okay? Then, uh, yes, they have thin walls. Their walls are thin compared to the arteries who, which, whose walls are thick. Uh, then, moving, yes, we can say that uh, valves, okay, then they have valves which open in one direction to prevent back flow of blood. So this is very important not on, on, on valves, on veins, that they have valves that open in one direction. So blood can't easily flow back within the, uh, within the, the veins compared to arteries. So still, blood in veins, okay, flow at a low pressure compared to the, to the arteries where blood flows under high pressure. And that's why you find that arteries have got thick walls to resist the pressure of blood or blood pressure. So with, with veins, we are saying that uh, the, the blood flows under or oh, at low pressure, okay? So uh, looking at veins, we are saying, st still saying that all veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein, meaning all veins carry blood without oxygen except pulmonary vein, which carries blood with oxygen from lungs back to the heart. Yes, last time we looked at that. Yes, so uh, to look at uh, this clearly, you can check on the structure of a vein, okay? So uh, we can still check on this, yes, uh, by looking at these yes, structures. So this was specific about the artery. So number two, we can simply look at the structure of the vein and compare them, okay? The structure of a vein. Yes, so uh, simply looking at this, you can see that uh, uh, for veins, it's just the opposite of the arteries, okay? If arteries have got, uh, let's say, a uh, uh, narrow lumen, what will be the, with the veins? So veins, the lumen is wide. So veins have got wide lumen, okay? And then the narrow or thin walls, yes, the walls are thin compared to yeah, the arteries, yes. So you can simply show this. So uh, this can show the flow of blood, blood flowing within the veins. So blood can't flow back. We are going to see these ones, they have got, uh, they have got uh, what we refer to, to valves, you can see. So this, you can see that uh, these valves will prevent back flow of blood. So simply we can check, uh, putting here, we can see uh, these are valves, okay? And then talk about this, okay? Here we have the lumen, lumen. Simply we can say wide lumen in this case, okay? Yeah, to give a difference, we can simply say, yeah, wide lumen. The lumen is wide, okay? Uh, and then talk about the walls. They have got thin walls. Yes, so looking at structural differences between an artery and a vein, you can simply see clearly indicating, okay? Yes, for the veins, they have got uh, thin walls, okay? Check on the arteries, have got thick walls. Yes, uh, and then still, uh, arteries, you see, check here, uh, talk about the walls. Yes, they have got thick walls. Here, thin walls. The rumen, still as you said, now rumen, the arteries and the veins, uh, wide rumen. Yes, so uh, as you look at, uh, say this is the flow of blood, blood flows one direction, can't flow back. So these ones have got uh, valves. These valves prevent, so not the valves, prevent back flow of blood. They can ask you, what's the importance of valves in a blood circulation? Yes, it is simply to prevent back flow of blood. When you check on this for, art for arteries, have no, have no valves. So this simply can give us a difference. Yes, so when you move on, yes, 
we shall look at the differences between the arteries and the veins. Uh, yeah, that we shall just pick up from here. Yes, so we can move on to the next part. Okay? Yes, so here, not, we give a note here to check. We are saying uh, the iota is the biggest artery or largest artery. Okay? Well, the vena cava is the largest or biggest vein in the body. So we can be asked in exams, which is the largest artery or biggest artery? So we should understand this, okay? And not just for exams, uh, for your own information. We need to be aware of this, knowing that for arteries, actually the, uh, the largest artery is the iota, and the smallest, the smallest all, yes, the largest artery in the body, iota, and then the largest vein will be the vena cava. As simple as that. Uh, then still, we need to check on the capillaries, okay? For capillaries, yeah, these are blood vessels uh, that are simply connect, yes, the veins to arteries. So capillaries, if you look at their functions, their work is to connect or to join arteries to veins, okay? Uh, and the, another thing also, uh, another function of the arteries that are associated the capillaries, that are, they allow the exit of blood materials or oxygen of gases that is also within that. Yes, so talk about blood with oxygen entering uh, the organs like uh, the kidney, the liver, okay? And then from the, so these external materials, blood materials from there, like oxygen for nutrients. So oxygen from within there, as we said, talk about gases, you find that uh, blood is, uh, blood with oxygen reaching the organs, okay? Like, uh, like the liver, the kidneys, it will be used up with the, what, within the organs, okay, as supplied to different parts. Then uh, what will mean will be the carbon dioxide produced and will be sent to different, uh, it will be sent through the, to the vena cava back to the, uh, to the heart and then sent to the, to the lungs for, uh, for, for disposal, dropping carbon dioxide and then peak oxygen. Yes, so uh, we can look at uh, the structure of, of a capillary. Okay, this is very important. So capillaries, simply as we say that, uh, look at number three. These ones for capillaries, we simply say that uh, they connect arteries to veins. So a capillary can say uh, the structure is of our capillary. Okay. Yes, so looking at this, uh, we can majorly find capillaries within uh, the organs, okay? The, with the lungs, the body organs like the kidney, the liver. So it's where we're going to simplify in this, okay? Uh, so we can draw this representing, representing an utter, re representing uh, a capillary. So. So within this, you can find that, let's say this side, this is artery, okay? And then this side will be vein, okay? Vein, yeah. So we simply say that uh, uh, capillaries, okay, connect arteries to veins. So you immediately find that uh, within the, the middle part, for, for example, here, reaching this way, okay? When a blood with oxygen or with the food materials enter, less the capillary, so it will be used up, okay? And then uh, this is why you find that you can find blood with oxygen entering the capillary gets or used up, and then what remains, the carbon dioxide or produce will be sent to the vena cava, okay? Through a yes, from the vein, by the vein, let's say from, if it's from the kidney, through a renal vein to the vena cava, and then from the vena cava back to the heart. So simply that's why we say that uh, within, the, within the capillary there is exchange of, of, of blood materials like oxygen, talk of that, of food nutrients. Yes. Uh, so the major function, remember, of the capillary is to connect arteries to veins, okay? And then to exchange food ma blood materials. Yes, like, ox like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Uh, so uh, this can actually push us to the next part uh, where we are going to look at uh, 
uh, the lava activities, okay? So uh, looking at the three types of blood vessels, we have seen uh, the artery, yes, we have seen the structure of the vein. We have also seen the structure, yes, of the capillary. So look at this, these are three blood vessels. But remember, the largest blood vessel is the artery. Uh, veins are medium blood vessels, okay? Then uh, lastly, uh, the capillaries are the smallest blood vessels. So you can be asked such a question from there. Like here, yes, we can come into our activity here for now. So this activity, yes, we want to do it together. Just in form of discussion, yes, or we will go through together and then uh, we do some numbers together. The numbers, we do them. Yes, this help you uh, to understand this work properly. So looking at uh, the first number here, we asked at least the three blood vessels, okay, of the circulatory system. We said we have the arteries, okay, veins, yeah, and capillaries, they are the, they are the blood vessels. So then we can now move to the next number where we are asked to name the biggest and the smallest blood vessel in the body. Yes, from our discussion, what do you think, yes, will be for A, the biggest blood vessel? So you can answer this. And then moving to the next part, that's part B, we are asked the smallest blood vessel. So from the three blood vessels, the arteries, veins, and capillaries, what do you think are the smallest blood vessel? Yes. So uh, this can now push us to the next number. Uh, this checking with this number, yes, number four, no activity. We are asked, what name is given to the following in the body? Yes, uh, okay, largest artery, largest vein. So as we talk of the artery, yes, we need to see which is the largest artery in the body. We discussed this, but simply we said last time that uh, majorly aorta is the largest artery. So we can't forget this, which carries blood to all parts of the body, from the heart or parts of the body. This is the blood with oxygen. And then uh, back, th that blood has to be taken, blood without oxygen has to be taken back to the heart and then it's into the lungs for oxygenation. So we can simply see also the largest vein will help us to get back blood without oxygen back to the, uh, to the, to the heart. So which blood vessel is this? So uh, if uh, the largest artery is, is uh, iota. What do you think will be the largest vein? So please, you can still answer this as we move together. Uh, for any query, you can still check on us. We hope you we get together. And then uh, next, number five, what's the role of valves in the veins? Yes, uh, we have discussed this. So you can check on this and answer this. Uh, okay. And then uh, next number, we asked, uh, give the functions of the following blood vessels. Yes, arteries. Oh, what's the use of arteries? There are very many functions we can mention, okay? Like we can simply say arteries, we can say arteries carry, uh, let's say carry blood towards the heart. Sorry, sorry, our, uh, yeah, uh, carry blood eye from the heart for the arteries, okay? And then for veins, carry blood towards the heart, like the vena cava, brain, veins carry blood towards the heart, okay? And uh, yes, there are other many functions of veins and arteries. Uh, you can still keep, yes, answering, adding more. From our discussion, you can still get them. Uh, then we have next number here, and this will be our last number, okay? Uh, yes, our last number says is that uh, give N2 structural differences between arteries and veins. When we say structural difference, look at the structures. What, are, what do you find in arteries and not found to the veins? So there are very many differences between veins and arteries, okay? Remember veins carry blood with oxygen, without oxygen, sorry. Veins carry blood without oxygen except pulmonary vein. And then arteries can carry blood with, with oxygen except the pulmonary artery, yeah. So uh, for this case, we want to look at the structure, because we, we have drawn the structures, so we want to look at them and see what will be the structural differences. Look, looking, at the, looking at the, yes, the parts, uh, the appearance, how are they different, okay? So uh, we can do this number together for this case, uh, as we check. So yes, looking at these structures, the two majorly, uh, the 
uh, the, art, the artery and the vein, we're asked to look at the difference simply. Uh, so we can uh, do this in a table form, okay? Can do this in a table form. Uh, simply write uh, on one side, we can write here, we can write here arteries, okay? And then this side, we write veins. Yeah, simply we are looking at differences. Yeah, so now, checking on their differences, we want to check, yes, looking at the appearance, look at, yeah, look at the parts. Look to talk about the walls, talk about the lumen, uh, the valves. This can simply give you the differences. So, uh, yes, we are asked to give two, but we can even go on giving like five. So from this, so here we can at least have, uh, let us look at uh, the first example here, and then we can go on adding the rest. So look at the walls. Uh, for arteries, I've got thick walls, okay? So simply we can say, this side for arteries, here, arteries have, uh, these ones, they have, okay? They have thick walls. Okay? Yes, so if arteries have thick walls, what do you find with veins? Check here. Yes, check on the wall of veins. They are thin, okay? So, so veins have got thin walls. So veins, here you can say, they have, they have thin walls. Okay? Yes, so I went to write, so we are asked to, we need to put over like, let's say, five differences, okay? So we can go on adding, okay? Add, you can have two, three, four, and five. Yes. So when you're giving a difference, you make sure you compare a point. You give the opposite of the given point. For example, here, if we say that arteries have thick walls, the walls actually are thick, uh, compared to their side of a thin, very small, very thin. So. When you go to the next part, check here. Talk about the lumen. How do you see? Yes, white lumen, and here, now lumen, lumen. It's a difference. So you can still add next part. Then I still check on the valves. Yes, which of them have valves, which of them have no valves? Are they veins or arteries? It's a difference there, yes. And then still check uh, on, the, on the flow of blood. We can see there are those which, you've, let's say, we, we are, which are carry blood towards the heart, and the blood away from the heart. And have a difference still. Uh, there are many differences you can get here. Which of them carry blood with oxygen, and then which of them carry blood without oxygen. So this, you can simply add up five differences. So please, to make this easy for you, that when you go for, let's say, for revision and what, it will be easy. So you can get to use your time. Uh, it's now, it's now, as for, but now, complete this add more differences between arteries and veins. Yes, uh, so coming back to this side, we find that, uh, yes, uh, we have looked at uh, a number of, 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 of questions, yes. So you can still go through, these are left for you to answer. You can simply answer these, okay, complete these. Uh, yes, it helps, you, it helps you for more revision. And then uh, this will bring us to the end of our lesson for today. But remember, in this lesson today, yes, we have looked at uh, majorly uh, blood vessels. And uh, for blood vessels, we say that they are tubes which transport blood or carry blood around the body. Yes, and these ones we looked at majorly three, okay? Yes, three blood vessels, okay? We have the arteries, the veins, okay? and the capillaries. So when you ask what are the three types of blood vessels, simply talk of the arteries, veins, and the capillaries. Remember, the arteries are the largest blood vessel, and, and the, is the biggest blood vessel, okay? And then they are the, all the largest blood vessels, and then the capillaries are the smallest blood vessels. For veins are medium. Remember, I say, as we go on, we say that for arteries are largest blood vessels, Capillaries are the smallest blood vessels, okay? 
for veins are the medium blood vessels. So you can be asked such questions, which are the largest blood vessel, which is the, med which is the medium, which is the smallest. Yes, and remember, very important about arteries, the largest artery is the iota, that it carries blood with oxygen from the heart to all body parts. And then uh, we have the large, or the largest vein, which is the vena cover, carrying blood from uh, all body parts back uh, to the heart. So this is uh, very good for us, as if we keep on, we have to keep on uh, going through this so that we can actually uh, be updated with the, uh, such topics. So uh, for this time, yes, we come to the end of our lesson. Uh, as I said earlier, you can still uh, check on us on our uh, follow on us on BTN TV. You'll be getting lessons, uh, okay? Always watch how you'll be getting on YouTube, you'll be having them. Uh, still, our uh, Wisdom Center website, which is how we can also provide you with more uh, questions for revision. So please always check us, check on us, and have, yes, work that can make you updated, such that the time you get back to school, yes, you will be staying, you will be still strong, actually beyond. This is very good. And uh, surely, yeah, we thank you uh, for your time and keeping up with us. Thank you.